So, ever since you guys first asked me about aliens, ETs, UFOs, and I started to do readings on them, I have been very interested in this topic because the answers that I got were not the answers that I expected. <laughs> you guys have sent me in a whole loop with that. I always thought that other beings were possible. Now, I think they're a definite. <laughs> I think they are a definite. And I don't care if it makes me sound crazy. I don't care if people believe me or not. <laughs> I don't care. I never have cared in that capacity. But I know they're among us. So... I wanted to find out if this last incident at the Miami mall was an actual visitation as we call it, or if it was a hoax, you know, or like the cops are saying, it was some teenagers fighting with sticks and rocks. So we're going to look and see what exactly happened on January 1st, 2024 at the Miami mall. My name is Queen Alset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to anyone or everyone who might like it too. Uh, if you want to get a reading done, please email me. I'll be happy to give you a reading. Hit me up on social media. All of my information is underneath this video. Please like this uh, video. Please give us a positive comment. And... Underneath this video, you will also find some other goodies like my Patreon and other information. Of course, I always put the decks that I use for the reading underneath the video at the very top in case you're interested in checking them out or purchasing them from where I got them from. All right, let us see. The first question I had was, what happened at the Miami Mall? Okay, because this whole thing seems really unusual to me. First thing I got is this card right here. This is the three of wands reversed. This means that we really did see something. I don't know. Well, I'm going to know soon. So let's just keep going forward. Um, we saw something. This indicates a ship. And when it's reversed like this, it's a ship that went down. So they had some type of technical issue with their ship. And this makes perfect sense because people who witnessed this said that whatever this creature was, it was kind of, it looked strange, like it was glitching in some kind of way. So that gave me the indication that it could be a hologram. But they're saying no, that it is an organic being that has some type of problem with this technology. So, the, so they weren't supposed to be at the Miami Mall. And mind you, these things walk around among us. And I am of the mind that they have some type of technology that keeps us from being able to see them, similar to a cloaking device, if you're familiar with Star Trek. So I think they have some type of cloaking device, and I think they walk among us. I think they live, we can already see where I think they live, but I, I've said this to you guys before, but I think they walk among us, and the technology glitched. So this is not, you know, like something unusual for them to be chilling. They probably chill all over the place. <laughs> That's why people see them all the time. Because most of the time, I think they have this cloaking thing up, but maybe it doesn't work on takeoff or something like that. Because people who have seen UFOs have only seen them for a split second. People who have seen beings have only seen them for seconds, like, like flashes of them, you know. And they're being seen all over the world. So I think that some of the times it's on purpose. They turn the shit off. And I think some of the times, like in this case, I think it glitched at the Miami Mall. Here we um, get the indication that there was more than one of them. There seems to have been three of them, at least, of these beings. Um, and I got the name of the beings, too, by the way. I'm going to tell you that in a minute. But it seems like there was two guys and a, and a female. Well, we would consider to be a female. I don't know if their genders are called the same or they are the same as ours. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows any of this factual information? But we do know that it was one that would have been younger, masculine, a older feminine, and then we have here a uh, 20-ish, 30-ish, you know, uh, young adult, I would call it, uh, masculine. This one here is kind of hot-headed, um, but they weren't attacking them all, by the way. They were just like, whatever technology glitched, and they got stuck there for a moment. And then also, simultaneously, look here. Simultaneously, because of what was happening... People started to run. 
you can even see them running on the videos. They started to scream. They started to run. Um, and there were a lot of teenagers there. And some of the teenagers was, you know how teenagers are, fighting, clowning, you know, that kind of thing. Throwing rocks, throwing sticks, you know, stuff like that. Shooting off firecrackers because it was the 1st of January. And so what had happened is that the cops are like, oh, it's, it was just some teenagers. Yes, it was teenagers there. Anybody who was there probably did see teenagers wilding out. But they also, a great deal of them, not all of them, saw these beings. And now what they're doing is they're lying about it. Because that's what they do. And we get ready to see why. Uh, this is what the government does. So let's look at the reason why. So yes, there was something there. Surprised the heck out of me. All right, let's put our clarity cards down. Let's put our main cards up. So I was like, well, what is the deal? Why are they telling us this crap? <laughs> and it says here that as always, the powers that be, the police, the government, whoever was um, in charge of this, I don't know if it's NASA, CIA, I don't know. Whoever's in charge of it, they do not want people to have mass hysteria. So every time something happens, they just lie about it. And they, um, they probably will try to prove that it's a hoax because it's not going to die right away see this death card is reversed the death card when it's reversed is something that they want to die they want this story to die down they want it to go away so people who think they did this on purpose because of the epstein list that's not what's happening here actually they don't they would rather us focus on the epstein list than focus on this they want this to die down but because it's not they're going to keep lying they're going to keep saying it was kids the young kids and they're also going to say at some point that it was a hoax they may even have somebody come out and say that um because right here they don't want us to have this knowledge yet they're not ready for the public and you know there have been whistleblowers all over who have said, yes, there are UFOs, yes, there's this and that, that and the third. They become discredited. People say that it's, they're lying. You know, this is what they do. So nobody's ever really going to believe this. Even if you see an alien walking down Flatbush Avenue, nobody's going to believe you. <laughs> Except those of us who know about conspiracies, you know. Everybody else is going to think that you're crazy, you know. And so they, they bank on that. So they put it out that it's a hoax because they don't want us to have this knowledge, at least not yet. And this is the government and the police. According to this, yeah, the government and the police. This is my government card. This is my police card. So basically they came and I think they captured these things because right here says it's possible that they tried to at least. Um... They, yeah, they tried to capture them, but I don't know if they were able to because it says here it was, yeah, the government and the police together. So the government and the police are in cahoots about this, like they're in cahoots about everything the fuck else. And apparently, allegedly, for entertainment purposes only, <laughs> gotta give my legal disclaimer, um, they were trying to capture this thing. That's why it was all those cops there. Remember, if you look at the footage, it's like 200 cop cars. You're not going to get that many cops in one space for some teenagers throwing rocks. You're just not. It doesn't make sense. So they were trying to capture it, but I don't think, I don't know if they were able to. We're going to look at some of the other cars and see if they were able to actually capture it, but that was the plan. All right, so... Now we're going to take a look at what is they doing. Now, interestingly enough, let me show you this. All of these cards right here were in reverse. This is about the aliens. They were all in reverse. So that means that no place like home. This is not their original home. They have made it home. And they actually have been here, and some some groups of um, um, ETs, I'll call them, have been here before us. Uh, one of the groups actually engineered humans. This has always been something I've seen in the cards. It said that um, they took the, the hominid that was currently dominant on the planet, and they sliced it up with some alien DNA. Bam, you have human beings. So they come from a different place. Yes, they come from a different place that has some problems. Think about Earth as like one of their colonies, okay? They have a home planet someplace else. All of them do, except for the ones who it might have been, you know, desolate. But they still have a home planet. 
and they came to earth. Now we're going to see later why, but they came to earth. So some of them are still here in this kind of colony type thing. Um, this is going downwards and we see other indications of that too. So it's underneath the ground. Um, in some readings, I see it in the ocean. And in some re readings, I just see it underground, like cave systems and things like that. So I think it depends on which group you're talking about. They don't all live together. So this is their home away from home, put it like that. But these groups have another home. They come to Earth because of change from where they came from. Where they came from, I, I, we've talked about this before and we're getting ready to see it again. They came from a place where they were losing resources. They come to Earth to get the basic building blocks of nature. Um, atoms, you know, I don't know nothing about this because I'm not a scientist, but you know, the building blocks of nature, atoms, seeds, stuff like that. That's what they come to earth for. They get what they need and they send it back to wherever it needs to be sent to. That's why they have a colony here because it's kind of like they're gathering things and then they send it back. And every so often, one of us peeps it. Right here, loyal heart. This card says they really don't have, they're not dangerous to us, but they don't have a loyalty to humans. OK, they're not dangerous, but they don't have a loyalty to us. Their loyalty is to them. You know how it is. Your loyalty is to your team. <laughs> OK, so their loyalty is to their team, but they're not generally harmful to humans. They just come to get the building blocks, do their thing. And, you know, kind of like a, a little space mission you would see on one of these sci-fi movies. All right. So that's kind of tilted, isn't it? Yeah. OK. Let's take a look at the next set of cards. So here I asked to know more about these beings. Like I said, they're just trying to survive. They're resilient. You know, think about if your species, our species, I should say, um, was going through something. You know, we couldn't reproduce, for example, or we didn't have any uh, more clean water. We would do whatever we had to do to get the things we needed. This is a resilient group. These are resilient groups that travel, go wherever they have to go, do what they have to do to maintain, you know, to for the species to survive, which makes perfect sense. This one here tells us where they are. See? underground the underworld they are under that's why people always say well why don't we see them because they're under they have technology where they can live in the earth they can live underwater they have it depends on the species they have technology and can do things we could we can't do right now put it like that now we could live in these caves or structures and things like that depending upon how far down it is and if you get an oxygen a number of considerations but we could do certain things and that's what they do and see this right here every so often we do come across them they don't really bother us like that you know every so often we come across them or they come across us and we trade things you know they do help us they do give us things um all the way back to ancient man um the same way they come here you know and take the building blocks and things like that they've helped us along in different ways they've helped us with different technologies what we would see as treasure um so some of us have come across them and you know know that they're here all throughout the ages it's not common knowledge because our our leaders don't want it to be common knowledge it could actually be um they keep it under their hats because like i said before mass hysteria and you know how people are people can't even deal with people of different colors sometimes how they gonna deal with beings <laughs> from a whole nother place and let me show you what these beings look like. Everybody said they were tall and gray. That's them right there. And this is what they came for. So right there you see 18 is the Syrians. That's the that they call in this group. Um, let me see here what we get for them. It says here that this group of people, this group of beings, I'll call them, won't call them people. They are tall, they are gray, as you can see in the picture. Um, it says here that they came across the Egyptians, the Sumerians, the Incas, the Mayans. So they came across quite a few ancient civilizations, just like I was just talking about. Um, some of the things that they've given us or been helpful with is artistic endeavors, uh, such as music. Um, this group is, 
they have a lot of integrity. This is not a bad group. They're pretty honest. Um, they're just really like, like I said, they're trying to survive. That's really what they're trying to do. Um, they can be very aloof and they don't have a great emotional range. That's not a thing amongst their people. But um, they're very intelligent according to what the what I've heard about this particular group. Um, they like to sing. They're pretty gracious. So they had pretty decent, you know, success. You know, they're pretty decent in that capacity. That's why I said they're not on our team, but they're not here to harm us. They're, they're just here to do their thing, it says. Now, I told you why they were here. Flower of Life. Every time I ask that question, I get this card. The Flower of Life is about what I told you before, the building blocks of nature. This is what they are here for. They don't, Earth is not someplace they really want to spend time, you know. Think about you know, if you want to go somewhere, you want to go someplace nice, right? <laughs> you want to go someplace that has clean water, right? This is not exactly where they want to go. They come here because we have these building blocks of nature so that they can continue life where they're from. They come here to their little space station, they do their thing, and then they go the heck on. That's why I said they're not really dangerous to us because they've always been here. But it's kind of disturbing when their technology, you know, glitches and you see one of them, you know, because we're all taught that they're not real or that somebody who believes in them are crazy. So when you are that crazy person, it's like, oh, snap. Um, again, I told you they're very intelligent, uh, very mental, critical thinkers, things like that. They reason. Um, they like to, like, uh, observe Think about a, a a legion or a group of scientists, basically. And they're really smart. Um, air is the last one here. So that's telling us that one of the things they have problems with is their air. And whatever they get from here, from one of those building blocks of nature, helps them with their air. So this is what happened at the Miami Mall. So don't be afraid. I mean, these things, you know, they get and they get and they move on. They've always been here. It's nothing to be scared of. It's just like the government thinks that we can't handle the knowledge. So you're going to hear more about ETs, by the way, because someone was telling me because Aquarius is going into Pluto, a lot of things are going to come to light. And many of them, they're going to lie about. They're going to tell you it's a hoax. They're going to tell you it's not true until they can't do it no more. It's, they're going to gaslight us. <laughs> Basically, think of like, you know, an emotionally abusive, you know, ex. They're going to gaslight us till they can't gaslight us anymore. That's basically the bottom line. And those of us who believe it are going to be called crazy from the hilltops until they can't call us crazy no more. So don't be afraid. It is what it is. They've already been here. They helped out your ancestors. <laughs> it's all good. They're not here to attack. They just had a problem with their technology. Okay. So you guys, please check out the next video that you're going to see up on your screen right now. If you like this one, I have a lot more cool stuff on my channel. Please check it out. And you come back soon because I got a lot more to say. See you later.